I'm going to have each of you introduce yourselves, let me know your name, your age, uh, the branch of service you're joining, the job you've chosen, and if you know when you're shipping out for training. I'm going to right up from here. My name is Troy Elward. I okay. joined the United States Army uh, 11X Infantry. Cool. And when are you shipping out? Valentine's Day. February 14th. Awesome. Kyle Barnhart, United States Marine Corps, Combat Engineer, March okay. 7th. March 7th? Alright, great. Uh, Brandon Lovett, United States Marine Corps, and I've got an open contract. Open uh, contract Marine Corps? So you're not sure what when you're shipping out? Do you know your shipping uh, date? Uh, July 26th. You just don't have a job locked exactly. in? Exactly. Still July 26th. Yeah. No what job you, yet. What do you want to do? Uh, peace. And these. Awesome. If you get it, please don't give me any tickets. Uh, All right. Okay. Uh, Dolphin Medina, United States Army, um, 68 Whiskey. Medic? Yep. All right. When you ship now? January 3rd. Great. And you, sir? Jonathan Warner, 18. All right. Uh, 91 Bravo. Is that wheel vehicle count? Yeah. All right. And when are you shipping? July 2nd. Awesome. William Hudnall, 20 U.S. Army, uh, 25 Bravo, and I'm shipping February 28th. 25 Bravo, is that MI? Yeah, uh, it's uh, IT. IT, okay. I knew it was going to list you. 35. <coughs> awesome. Well, a little bit of background on what we're all doing today. The majority of applicants like yourselves that come through the MEPS are usually between the ages of 18 and 24. So when you, when you look at you guys physically, that's the target market we compare you to. Um, out of all 18 to 24 year olds across the nation, we estimate that 70% of them cannot do what you guys have done today, which is to qualify to serve in the United States military. And we look at the entire population. According to the 2009 census that was taken, there was 300, just over 300 million people in the U.S. Of those 300 million people, only 2.8 million are currently serving in one of the branches of the military, the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, or one of the respective reserve components like the Army Reserve, Navy Reserves, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, so what I'm trying to say is first, congratulations on being in the top 30% of your peers and qualifying for military service. But again, much, much more important than that. Thank you for joining the less than 1% of us that get up every single day, put on these uniforms, and represent our country. I just can't thank you guys enough for making the decision to make it today by volunteering to serve your country in the United States military. So thank you so much for what you're doing. Um, before we start with the oath of enlistment, I have a couple of administrative questions for the, the six of you. Um, you all should have been briefed on Articles 83, 85, and 86 in the Uniform Code of Military Justice. Uh, those three articles deal with fraudulent enlistment desertion and AWOL. And then you also should have been briefed on Department of Defense's separation policy and restrictions to personal conduct. That's a whole do's and don'ts of military service that both two cop checks should have briefed you on. Do you guys have any questions on any of that material before we start with your oath? Everybody's good? Right. Uh, do you have any questions for your service about your contracts or anything else you want to have answered before you enlist today? So are there any last minute questions? Right. Everybody just wants to go home, I'm tired, late. <laughs> Please over eyes today. Huh? Right. And the last question, do any of you guys want to change your mind? That's the most important question I have to ask you guys. Oh. All right, awesome. Uh, with that being said, uh, we're getting ready to recite the oath of enlistment. Uh, when we recite the oath, the first line will state, I do solemnly swear. It's up to you guys if you want to use the word swear or affirm in that first line. Uh, feel free to substitute it on your own. Um, the last line of the oath is going to state, so help me God. Uh, if for some reason you don't feel comfortable or don't wish to recite that line, just remain silent during that last line. You just cannot replace or change that line in any way. Any questions regarding the oath? You guys ready to do this? Yes, sir. Yes, All right, sir. take a deep breath. Let it out. All right, here we go. Go and bring yourself to some attention. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, and state your full name. I, I, I don't know. Do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear? That I'll support and defend. That I'll support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I'll bear true faith. That I'll bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. That I'll obey the orders. That obey the orders. Of the President of the United States. Of the President of the United States. And the orders of the officers. And the orders of the officers. Appointed over me. Appointed over me. According to regulations. According to regulations. And the Uniform Code. And the Uniform Code. Of Military Justice. Of Military Justice. So help me God. So help me God. Okay, go and put your hands in. Welcome to the United Army. Thank you. Welcome to the United States Marine Corps. Thank you. Welcome to the Marine Corps. Thank you. Welcome to the Army. Thank you. Welcome to the United States Army Reserves. Thank you. And welcome to the United Army. Thank you. Um, congratulations to all of you. It's been my honor to enlist you guys today. More importantly, it'll be my honor to serve alongside all of you throughout your military career. What we're going to do now in just a second, I'm going to have you guys fall out. 
Uh, if you want to take some more pictures with your family, uh, that's fine. When you're done, I just didn't see the six of you guys in the classroom. We'll get your contract signed, get you guys back up to the front desk, back to your service, and hopefully out of this crazy place. Uh, any questions for me? All right, Paul, thanks. Thank you.